because she could hear a jumble of voices outside the window, whispering, grumbling, mumbling. But who was talking? There was no one around, just the birds and the trees. Please stop, cried the little girl. But the voices did not stop. Instead, she heard a bossy voice say loudly, go to the beach, there is someone who needs your help. The girl jumped, she looked around. All she saw was a crow, and crows don't talk. And then she wondered, who needs my help? So she quickly ran towards the beach. At the beach, she saw some boxes, some bottles, torn wrapping paper, and a dog, the most beautiful dog in the whole wide world. He was brown and white with eyes like molten chocolate. Why are you all alone, little dog? Asked the girl. The little dog said nothing. He had talked all day, but nobody listened. Tired and sad, he closed his eyes. When he opened his eyes, the little girl was still there. Do you need help? She asked. The dog decided to try one last time. Nobody wants me, he said. I have nowhere to go. The little girl was shocked. Who said that? She asked, looking here and there. There was no one around, only the dog. And dogs don't talk. Who said that? The little girl asked again. I did, said the little dog. But dogs can't talk, said the little girl. Of course we can, exclaimed the little dog. People just don't know how to listen. Okay, I'm going to stop right here because then nobody's going to buy the book. And then you'll have to buy the book to understand what happened after that. But this is the story about how Ed finds a home. And that is our lead <laughs> Hero and heroine, Ed and the little girl whose name is Alia. In this book, but actually her name is Mama. <laughs>